how to charge accumulators with nitrogen using a HydroRex booster Unix with Maro GBT Rex. We have a wall control panel accumulators that are need to be charged with 2900 PSI. First, we need to make sure our isolation bow and bleed bow are closed before pressure our system. Inlet ports connection. We connect our gas inlet pressure hose. Outlet ports. Now we connect our pressure discharge hose. Make it sure it's tight to prevent leaks. Connect pressure discharge to our accumulator bottles. Make sure your chop bow is connecting right. Open the chop bow to have access to the accumulator. Connect your air supply. Our air compressor have a 160 psi. This unit need 80 or 100 psi just to be operated. Open your gas supply inlet. We see we have a 1400 PSI supply from our supply accumulator bottles. We check for leaks. Open isolation needle bow. Open air supply. Regulate your air pressure and start pumping. Now we are compressing nitrogen into our accumulator bottle. As you can see, this pressure unit it's very easy to operate, manufactured by Hydrodate in Houston, Texas. This is a portable and efficient air driving double acting pump for delivering increasing transference, cylinder charging, any pressure test for use on wide range or industrial gases, including nitrogen, argon, helium, hydrogen, oxygen, and more. When cylinder is charged, Open your chalk bow. Close the isolation needle bow and open the bleed needle bow to bleed or discharge size system. Now disconnect your pressure discharge line. Close your supply gas accumulator. Open isolation bow and be sure the bleed needle bow is open to relieve or gas inlet pressure. We done with our nitrogen charging accumulator. As you can see, it's nothing complicated. It's easy, safety with this portable gas booster unit. If you would like to have one of these units, go to www.hydrorex.com.